top 10 things you need to stop doing right now. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today is my top 10 things you need to stop doing right now. And well, it's sort of clickbait. I'll admit it. Because what happened, and I'll explain this and make sure, uh, what happened was I read this article about the top 10 things you need to throw out of your house right away. And you know what? They were all pretty subjective. I mean, some of the items were, you know, you shouldn't have uh, uh, synthetic rugs. They, they didn't really give a reason. Your curtains need it to be uh, 96 inches long, un unless you don't like 96 inch long curtains. The top 10 things that you need to do, stop doing right now, actually there's only one, and that is listening to top 10 things which you need to stop doing. If you are doing any of these things, you need to ask yourself this one question. Uh, is it detrimental? Will it harm you or someone else? If it is, you probably should stop doing it. If it won't, well, okay, then let's ask ourselves, why did this person post this list of top 10 things which I need to not do? Do you have any idea? I've read lists that were for men over the age of 30, and one of the things which they needed to do was stop going to clubs. Well, why? What's the reason? Uh, I saw where women over the age of 30 should only dress in certain ways. Well, once again, why? Because it all becomes subjective. It all becomes one person's taste. Uh, if somebody wants to wear a short skirt after the age of 30, fine. Do they think they look good in it? Fine. Do I think they look good in it? What difference does that make? I, I'm not buying the clothes. I'm not wearing the clothes. If that person feels really comfortable in whatever they're wearing, excellent. Guess what? You know those fake flowers that you were told to get rid of? Do you like them? Keep them. If you do, that's the big thing. Do you feel comfortable with what you have? Because what was interesting and the, the, the whole reason I'm doing this is one of the things which this lady did suggest is that you need to get rid of all of your plastic plates. Okay, you get rid of all of your plastic plates. That's great. She said you should get Corel. Well, I hate Corel. I'm sorry. It's not my favorite thing. Does that mean that I'm right? Oh gosh, no. No, it doesn't mean that I'm right. It doesn't mean that I'm right at all. It just means that that's my opinion on Corel wear. Uh, I know lots of people who love Corel. I know uh, lots of Corel wear that I actually think is really nice, but I just don't like it for myself. So guess what? I don't have it. Does that mean you need to get rid of it too? No, it doesn't. Stop doing this. You stop listening to these things which are telling you that you are wrong with the way that you are doing things. I can give you ideas on how to do things. Do, does that mean that my ideas are right? Not necessarily. It doesn't even mean that my ideas will work any better than your idea. All it means is that I'm sharing the way that I am doing things. And like I said before, unless you are hurting yourself or someone else, the environment, uh, does it work for you? If it really works for you, that's great. I know a lot of things, there are a lot of things which I could do which might be slightly easier, but the way that my mind thinks, it makes that difficult for me to do. So even though it's easier for you, it could be like seven times more difficult for me to actually do it. What do you do in that sort of case? Well, simple. What you do in that sort of case is you keep doing things the way that you like. Do you have to live in a tent with a spork to be happy? No. No, you don't. You don't have to get rid of your stuff to be happy. Uh, because what I love about this is the fact that they say that stuff cannot bring you happiness. Okay, I can agree with that. But they seem to think that stuff can bring you sadness. Well, if it can't bring me happiness, but it can bring me sadness, make up your minds. No, 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 no. What can bring you sad? Clutter. Having a house that's overwhelmed with clutter? Oh, oh yeah, you, you could feel sad about that. Does that mean you need to get rid of all of your clutter? No, just organize it. Just, just organize it. Stop living your life according to someone else's rules, because what works for someone else will not work for you. <laughs> It may, it may not. I don't know. Because here's the thing, I don't know about you. I don't know all of your quirks, all of your tics, all of your everything. I'm not sure. I can give you ideas, but I don't really know about you. One of the things which I think, think which we forgot to do, we forgot to teach people how to learn about themselves and how to make sure that they know what works for them and what doesn't work for them. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about calendars. Everybody's really big on the whole 
hey, go digital for your calendar now. Okay, wonderful. Does that work for you? What? It does? Oh, okay. If the digital calendar works for you, we are good. If the digital calendar doesn't work for you and you like your paper calendars, keep them. <laughs> Enjoy your paper calendars. Uh, it, there is no reason that you have to do something that because everybody else does it. So that's my number one top 10 things which you need to stop doing is stop trying to live your life according to somebody else's life. Live your life according to your life. If they have suggestions which will make your life easier, go for it. Do those suggestions. Do you have to do that? No. Just remember that. Just remember, you don't have to live your life any way that you don't want to. So, as long as you're not hurting somebody, we're all good, right? Well, what do you think about that? What are your top 10 things which you need to stop doing right now? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, which really helps keep this channel going. And also, don't forget to give me some ideas, because this one is so important, because sometimes even I get carried away with things which I think what you should be doing or shouldn't be doing. And realistically, all I can give you is suggestions, and you can try the suggestions or not try the suggestions, but it's just something which you can see if it works for you for it doesn't work for you because yes I am guilty of saying you shouldn't be doing that but by the way if you have a sponge you don't have to throw out your sponge because there are ways of cleaning them you don't have to get rid of all of your uh, paper towels and paper napkins uh, no no you really don't just because I don't use those things doesn't mean that you don't have to use these things so let me down, down, know down in the comments what you think and I hope I get to see you again next time if you like this video give it a thumbs up you can share it don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time